up YouTube? It's your girl Korea from Naturally or Done TV and I'm back again with my last video of 2017. Yes, that is correct. This will be my last video of this year. Um, if you have not seen my face before, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can become a part of the squad, the family, the team. And make sure you hit the like button and that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I post a new video. And last but not least, make sure you comment below because I interact with all comments, each and every one. So make sure you do all of those things. Subscribe, notification bell, like, and comment. That'll be greatly appreciated. Now, without further ado, Let's just jump right into this video. This video is going to be my 2018 New Year's tag. Or is it just the New Year's tag? We're just going to say it's the New Year's tag. <laughs> because some of this stuff is going to be related to 2017. And some of this stuff is going to be related to 2018. So, there is a total of 12 questions. So, let's just jump right into it. I'm going to be reading from my iPad. So, if I'm looking down, that is what I'm looking at. Number one, if you could look back on one memory from 2017 that you wish you could relive, what would it be? Um, for 2017, the memory that I wish that I could relive would be Christmas. Um, I say that because Christmas means a lot to me and my family. We've been through a lot, so when we're able, when we get to a point in life when we're able to do certain things, um, it's a milestone. So I would say this Christmas was definitely a milestone um, for me and my husband to be able to do a lot for our children and, you know, give them some things that they want plus things that they need. So I would say that would definitely be my most memorable moment that I wish that I could relive for 2017. Number two, what was one New Year's resolution that you accomplished? So I accomplished losing weight. Um, my goal for 2017 was 15 pounds and I lost a total of 18 pounds. So I overachieved my goal. So that was super exciting. So, and for 2018, I don't think I'm gonna come up with some New Year's resolutions. Um, not nothing that I have to physically do, I guess. But we'll see. You never know what will happen between now and 12. Number three. Describe three words to describe 2017. Um, I will say blessed, highly favored, and loved. Number four. Who was the most inspirational artist? for 2017 in your opinion. I would say Tasha Cobbs, the gospel singer. Um, she definitely um, inspired me a lot for 2017. So, and I listen to her all the time and I really love her music and she put out an amazing album this year. So definitely Tasha Cobbs. Um, number five, something you look forward to in 2018. I look forward to growth in my YouTube channel. Um, just continuing to be blessed, continuing to be healthy, um, for my family to continue to be healthy, um, happiness, prosperity, just a lot of great things. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, for number six, what did 2017 teach you? 2017 taught me to only rely on God. Um, don't rely on anyone in the world because at the end of the day, he's the one that's going to be able to make it happen for you. If you rely on him through thick and thin, you should not want for anything. He's going to supply all of your needs and above your needs. And I definitely learned that 2017, 2016, and definitely for 2015. So um, each year I learn it a different way. And it all comes back to that, that one line, just rely on him. 
All right, so number seven. What was your most worn clothing in 2017? So I have two, and it's gonna be leggings and flats. <laughs> I don't know if you consider flats a piece of clothing, but it falls under apparel, right? But yeah, it's gonna be flats and leggings. They're so comfortable. You can wear them anywhere. You can put it with anything, and I just love them both. It's probably gonna be my most worn thing in 2018 as well. So, let's just jump to number eight. If you had to sum up your year in one word, what would it be? Um, that word would be blessed. That was easy. Number nine, what are you hoping for more of this year for 2018? I'm hoping for um, more growth um, spiritually, um, emotionally, and mentally. Um, just growth over all areas of my life. Um, growth in my YouTube channel. Um, I definitely want to see growth there. Because when I do put out videos, I make sure that the content is good. And I work really hard on putting out these videos. So I definitely, I would say growth. Just one word. Number 10. What are you hoping for less of this coming year in 2018? Um, I'm hoping for less negativity, um, just less of the bad things. Just keep it away. I only want good. I'm praying for good. Um, I try to do good and be good. So just keep all good things coming my way and just, you know, keep the bad and the negative somewhere that way, far away from me. Don't want it, just. Mm. All right, number 11, best book you read in 2017. So the best book that I read in 2017 was definitely Prada Plan. Prada Plan, one, two, three, four, and five, all five sequels. You should definitely read it if you haven't. I absolutely fell in love with it from the first book and I had to buy them all. So that was definitely um, the best book that I read in 2017. Um, number 12, what is your New Year's resolution for 2018? My New Year's resolution is to continue to be happy, to continue to um, see my family happy, um, for growth in my YouTube channel. I want to see you guys happy. I want you guys to see me happy. Let's just be happy together. I just, you know, I just want to be happy and the people that I'm around, I want to be happy. I only want to be surrounded by, you know, people that I can help or people that can help me. And, you know, God's going to place people in your life that can do those things. So either you're going to be placed in someone's life to uplift them or they're going to be placed in their life to uplift you. And that could be in any way. That could be words of wisdom. It could be to simply say, hey, that car is coming. You, you about to get hit. You know, just any type of thing. So I'm just looking for happiness, growth, prosperity, um, great health, especially for my family as well, and just good things in 2018. I mean, we're going into a new year, you guys, and I'm expecting all good, and I'm praying that you guys get all good as well, sending love and blessings your way as well. So that wraps up my New Year's tag. Um, I'm super excited for 2018 because I pl I'm planning on coming in strong, and I'm hoping you guys come along with me for the ride. You've been down with me for these five months that I've been on YouTube. And I thank you so much from the, for the support from the bottom of my heart for continuing to support me. Even on weeks that I did not post, you still stay subscribed. You didn't leave. I appreciate it. All the love and support, it's greatly appreciated, you guys. You don't know how it makes me feel. And... I just, I'm excited to just, to say that, hey, I do YouTube. I'm so excited about that. So I'm just looking forward to a great 2018 
and I'm so excited to be able to do it with you. So without further ado, I'm going to wrap up this video because 12 o'clock will be here before you know it and I got to bring it into you on my boo. So I will see you guys in the next video, which will be in what? 2018. So make sure you guys remember what I said. If you haven't seen my face before and this is your first time, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified in 2018 of all the new content that I will be putting out. Make sure you like this video, comment, and share if you like. Um, stay blessed and remember, you can do anything if you just rely on him. Be blessed, you guys, in 2018 and be safe. Bye.